Yeah, I am now freelance. Uh, first of all, I will literally do anything for enough money. Uh, <laughs> Do you think of anything you want me to do? Let's talk prices. Uh, second of all, because I'm freelance, that means you, people that earn enough to pay tax, you are now paying for bits of everything I buy. <laughs> due, to, due to the wonders of the tax write-off. Wear the jacket on stage. You just paid for 20% of it, guys. Uh, <laughs> with this in mind, I have new business cards. Um, so... Those of you who came to History Show off, these are my business cards. Um, I don't know how, how reflective they are. Is anyone, is, are you all blind yet? Um, they're cut from a single sheet of aluminium uh, and printed. Uh, the, the, the weird thing is these arrived and they're quite cheap. So they're cut from really, really, really thin metal. And the only other metal in the world cut this thin is razor blades. <laughs> Which means that I worked out when they got here, what I've actually done is I've ordered something for, for the hardcore cocaine user. <laughs> who likes the sharpness of a razor blade, but they want the easy, convenient hold of a credit card. So, that's my new target market, apparently, for my freelance services. Literally people with more money than cents. Um, so I, I did that bit. I did a gig in Belgium. I set up the first science comedy night in Belgium last week. And um, I did that bit. Twelve students came and asked me for my business card. <laughs> I am not famous enough for that to be a real thing. Here's my really favourite. Does anyone else have their business card with them? Yeah. I don't want to get into a Patrick Bateman. Can I borrow your business card for a minute? Yeah, here you go. Because those, those are only my temporary stopgap business cards. Um, I need someone else's business card to do... I'm, it's very rare I do an actual proper science demo, but I'm going to do an actual proper science demo. Uh, and Wait, I, I, no. Because this, this, this card's going to get denigrated during this process, and I can't do that to a naked moral business card. So, here's the science experiment. It's called the acoustics of business cards. I'll just... So, this gentleman, Robert... Hello, thank you for your business card. Your job description is a lie. <laughs> it says Android engineer. Ooh. Are you viral marketing the new Star Wars film or something? <laughs> right. Uh, no, I'm just, we're going to do the acoustics of business cards. Here's Robert's business card dropped in front of a microphone. <laughs> How do we score that out of ten? Here is my new business card dropped in front of a microphone. <laughs> Genuinely, credit card size solid steel bottle openers. Yes. Because I decided my real target market's not hardcore cocaine users, it's people who are really drunk and happy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to program my clients in a Pavlov-esque way so that every time they're drunk, they just see my name over and over again. <laughs> And they're like, how can I feel happy? I don't know, but Steve Cross has something to do with it. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I will do anything for enough money. Uh, so yeah, that's my real business card. Uh, good, right. Thank you for this, Robert. Uh, if anyone needs an Android engineer, then fuck off back to the future where you came from. <laughs> <laughs>